weird to be supported by your girlfriend, you know? No, it's difficult. The man who cannot support his family have only the half zip. Half the what? Zip, zip, penis, cook, that. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're saying, I get it. How'd you get this job? Arbitz for Midland. Arbitz for what? The place they have all the jobs. If you have no job, you can't go there. They just hand out jobs? Uh, not really. It is difficult to get one. Okay, it's probably not difficult for a guy like me that went to NYU. <laughs> hey, you mean New York University? No, no, no. I, uh, I mean uh, uh, NYU. It's a small college outside of Montreal. Uh -huh. Very good French. It doesn't matter. My cousin, you know, has been here for four years, and the only job they offer him as a toilet cleaner. Toilet cleaner? Oof, that's oh. rough. You know, you shouldn't just take any job, you know? Mm. You should follow your heart. Yeah. What did your uh, cousin do in Iraq? He was a toilet cleaner. Man, what's wrong with my pants? Nothing is wrong with them. They're just very... American. I mean, I think your friends just don't like me, that's all. It's not you. It's your language, okay? What's wrong with my language? Nothing is wrong with it. It's just not Swedish. They're not used to speaking English all the time. You know who would never make fun of my pants is Hassan. Yes, Hassan, yes. yeah. Okay, you know what? I don't think a 50-year-old Iraqi guy should be your style icon. Well, I'm just saying, he accepts me for who I am. Did you tell him you're not Canadian? He accepts me for who he thinks I am. Mm -hmm. You know, Hassan, I was, I was thinking the other day, you know, what if everybody just liked each other, you know, and got along? There would be no, no wars or anything like that. I like that. Good, I was hoping you'd say that, because what if, like, for example, you had an American friend? No. I'm just, I'm just pretending, so. I don't want to pretend that. Hassan, I'm talking about, like, an imaginary world here. It is too many worlds now. It's just two worlds, Hassan. There's, there's the real world, mm. where we're living now, where you would never have an American friend. Yeah. You like that. And then there's this second world, an imaginary world that I'm talking about now, where, like, let's say you had a um, really nice American friend. No. <sighs> say it was someone like me. Say, say I was your American friend. Then I would have to kill you. Sorry. Okay, do you want to play some video games or? Yes. <laughs> What's that? Uh, how did that get here? I, I am. Let I'll... us burn it. Burn it? No, that's. That sounds a little extreme. We should just uh, put it yeah. uh, somewhere. You have right. I will throw it out. I, I wouldn't... That... What's wrong, Bruce? You seem upset. Oh, Hassan, it's just my wife's family's driving me crazy. You know? I just can't wait to get out of there. I know what you mean. We have to live in, in, in a refugee camp. You know, 32 person in a small tent, as there is no roof. No roof on the tent? No roof. Jeez, your situation's so much worse than mine. <laughs> you must think I'm an idiot for complaining so much. Assalamu alaikum. This is my friend, my good friend, Bruce. Amriki? No, he's a Canadian. He hates the American maybe more than, than we do. I don't think I'd say more than you guys do, but... Let's go. 